Happy New Year, everyone. We made it to another year. Another year, another victory for the OGs. You know what I mean? Another day, another victory for the OG. Taking down the sweats, the impostors among us. I don't know if we all made it in one piece, but we made it and that's all that matters. Sorry, I've been a little bit MIA on the channel for the holidays. I was in Florida and we celebrated Christmas and New Year's there. And one thing about my family and I is that we always go all out for New Year's. I dreamed it all ever since I was young. They said I won't be nothing. Now they always say congratulations. Work so hard for go hard to vacation. the first time in a hot minute and i'm not even kidding i don't even remember when i would be entering a new year grateful for the last i feel like everybody says this but like 2023 really went by so fast but at the same time it didn't like looking back to certain memories that i know happened last year i'm like that seems like that happened 10 years ago like i feel like i lived so many lifetimes in 2023 the taylor swift eras but like tenfold like i was blonde i eloped I tried golfing, I tried snowboarding, I tried cosplaying, I did a little like cosplay gaming channel, which, you know, I gave up on. Like everything that I do, I pick up and I give up on because I'm just too scared to continue with it. But that's, you know, a later topic in the video. I lost track what number I'm on, but my meds really started kicking in because I started them at the end of 2022, but they really started kicking in at 2023. I feel like most of my symptoms and things that I really struggled with kind of dwindled away and I learned how to handle them better. Don't get me wrong now, I'm still struggling, but way less, okay? I was like fully blonde at one point. Did I mention that? And I was convinced that that was like the perfect color for me. And now that I went back to like my natural hair color, I'm like, what was I thinking? But you'll probably catch me blonde in another six months because I can never stick to a singular hair color. Maybe I should talk to a therapist about that. Maybe that has some inner issues or maybe it doesn't, who knows? Maybe it's the Gemini in me. 2023 was an absolute trip. I am so thankful for everything that I went through. Obviously, I'm kind of talking about it in a positive light, but there were a lot of struggles that I went through as well. Every single thing that I went through, negative or positive, I'm not necessarily thankful for the negative things because, you know, people say that, but like, the f I don't wanna go through that sh you know what I mean? But I am thankful for how I grew from experiencing those negative things. I'm thankful that I came out the other end with like a lesson learned or a new personality trait or deeper lore or a thicker plot armor. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I really need to pick up a book or two and I got a Kindle for Christmas, so I will be doing that. I feel like I'm just too immersed in like social media and like video games at this point that my vocabulary is very limited. So catch me reading a thesaurus because your girl is slacking on the vocab. But I'm back home, I'm ready to take on 2024 full force. And I know that this might be a cliche video to make because you know everybody's making these new year's resolution videos but you know if it helps them stick to it which is why i'm making this video then you know power to them power to me you know what i mean i wrote down my new year's resolutions because for some reason i'm forgetting my new year's resolutions so good thing i wrote them down my new year's resolutions are as follows to not be scared and to just do it like the whole shia labeouf mantra just do it. Nike, just do it. I just need to do things. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Because I overthink every single thing that I do. And you're like, Elizabeth, that sounds exhausting. Yeah, no shit, honey. Do you see the bags under my eyes? I am aging like milk because of this. I feel like I've gotten better at this, but looking back at my life, I have always been in like this constant state of stress and always, you know, it's always easier to look back and to say like, girl, you should have just done this. You should have just did this. But I'm really trying to carry that energy that I have towards past me and really apply it to the now. I need to stop being paralyzed by the thought of failing and instead just really embrace it. Because if I fail, it's only really on me. It's not like I'm attempting new medicine or something like that. And if I fail at that, you know, people will get hurt. It's just like my own personal things, my own personal projects that really, if I fail, then it's just on me and I'm the only one affected. Another thing is I'm trying to give myself a little credit, which is a weird thing to say, but I've noticed that I'm very self-deprecating. Maybe I have some imposter syndrome of like existing, not even like imposter syndrome for like, my job, 
I almost said career, laughable. But you know what I mean? It's not imposter syndrome towards that. It's imposter syndrome to just existing. <laughs> like I don't think I'm worthy of anything really. And I need to stop that. I need to be kinder to myself. So that is one of my resolutions. I'm quite literally tearing up and I'm fighting it as I speak. But that's one of my resolutions. I need to cut that shit out. I need to stop. And then another goal of mine is to just get my body moving. I know this is a cliche video and this is a cliche goal, the gym. Everybody loves to talk shit about people that want to better themselves as soon as the new year starts. But like also like off if I want to do it when the new year starts because I need that starting point, then like, you know, f off. Okay, ever since I got home, I've been really good at doing something active every single day. Whether that's cardio, weightlifting, or doing some kind of mobility stretches, I have been on it ever since I got home and I'm super proud of that. I'm just trying to get into shape again and I do feel like I am a little bit hard on myself because whenever I do say this and I look back at a video where I've said that prior, I'm like, girl, your body was fine then, what are you talking about? But it's not even just physique wise, it's just I wanna feel better, you know? I, I don't wanna be as lethargic, I wanna be more like, Ah, active. I feel like when I'm more active, I'm more focused. I'm a little bit less lethargic. I'm more, I'm just happier, you know? I mean, there's a science behind it, right? Like you release certain chemicals when you work out and that makes you happy. So I want to do that more. I'm gonna put a physique update. Definitely don't think my body is, you know, in shape enough for me to be like, this is my physique. It's a bod vod, like I mentioned earlier in my previous videos. This is essentially the before to my after. I'm putting this there. I don't know what my goals are. I don't know if I wanna gain weight. I don't know if I wanna lose weight. I think I just wanna exist, but be fit at the same time. Just listening to my body, eating whatever the hell I want. I'm sure the more I start lifting, the more I'll start eating. And it'll depend whatever I wanna eat at the time, what my body will look like. So my last resolution is to share a little bit more of my life with you guys. So my life is very private. I, I like that my private life is private. and. I know that it's not necessarily the best for content because for some reason on TikTok, everybody is just oversharing and it's crazy and I don't understand it. Maybe it's just, you know, my age is showing, but like, I just don't get it. That's not necessarily what I mean about sharing more with you guys. I'm just saying maybe more vlogs, maybe being a little bit more open, maybe sharing more about what I'm doing, maybe more of this, just like a raw conversation because it's been a while since I've been like, I don't know. It's been a while since I've been comfortable being open. I don't really know what happened, what caused me to change, but I used to just sit down with kind of like a general idea of what I wanted to talk about. I'd turn on the camera and I would just babble on. It kind of makes sense of it when I'm editing and then post it. But at some point that changed to me literally writing out like a script of exactly what I wanna say. Maybe I was overthinking it. Maybe I was too scared to just be myself on camera after, you know, maybe something happened. I don't know but I'm trying to get back to the point where I just turn on the camera, I sit down, I don't overthink it, I don't build it up in my head, I'm not scared to just be myself on camera. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this babbling because that's all I have to offer now. That's one of them. I don't even know if that counts as a resolution. I have a lot of goals and a lot of manifestations that I'm planning for this year. I have a whole board that I dedicated to it and it's massive and it's like very detailed, very thought out. But that's its own thing and it's more private, you know what I mean? It's more like personal goals. I would really recommend you guys do that because you really find out what you kind of want out of the year and you kind of set it in the back of your mind like how you're gonna reach every single goal. And I think it's really helpful and I do believe in manifestation personally. You don't have to but I do, so just saying, try it out, could work. It's worked for me, just saying. Kind of getting shit done is the goal for 2024. Just pushing through, doing what I need to do, not overthinking it, and just doing. Just doing, 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 and being proud of myself, and not hating myself, and being kind to myself, and yeah. I'll be back with another video very soon. In the meantime, check out my TikTok, my Instagram, and all that jazz. I'm trying my best to kind of find my voice on TikTok because I don't really, you know, I just overthink on TikTok too. So maybe just, you know, stick to the YouTube, stick to the Instagram. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment because it helps the algorithm and I'll appreciate it a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You guys don't understand how proud I am of myself because this never happens where I just sit down in one take and film a video and without a script. Like I haven't done this since like 2018, 2000, 
Yeah, I think like 2018. I don't know. I'm very proud of myself.